Hello guys, this is Avcore, and this is one of my first character overviews on Archland. So I want to take my time a little bit. I'm not going to be too wordy. I'm not going to drag it on too long. I'm just going to get into the nitty gritty. This is Velek. She is a fire healer. And I want to start out this video by assessing her value based on this. She is the first fire SSR healer that we have. So just based on that, she's pretty special. As I go through this game, I'm learning that colors really matter. And at this point in the game, you're gonna have you're gonna want every type of color, every type of class on some small level. You can get away with it, like maybe having one color off on some of these maps, but for the most part, you're looking for a four to five man team of one singular color in order to get to the higher level content. So this is a welcome addition. I probably won't be able to get her. I I tried. I tried. Uh, yeah, but I failed. I did a tier pool and I failed. But that's okay. Let's get to the stats. So first of all, she has a really great balance stat line for priests. If you looked at my priest video that I made on the class, you'll understand that priests should have really high magic defense. They need really good HP, B and above. Defense should be being above and magic attack should be being above and she covers all those even concentration is B which is pretty good The only C stat that she has that's not B is her attack Which is a dump stat anyway since she'll never use it. So stat wise she's where she's supposed to be I know some people will say well Avcore the magic attack is not there that's where the priest rune comes in. I think priest rune, the healing rune, is her best rune. I mean, she has solid magic attack, but for the most part, her strength comes from healing and doing heals over time. So, in my mind, the way I see it, I think that would be best. So, let's go through her... Oh, let's go to per to the website because I'm actually I actually can't translate these things for you. So we're gonna pop into the website and we're gonna talk about her a little more in depth. All right, so we're in the website right now. Let's look at her overall passive Scarlet Star Fragment. I talked about it before, but I'll talk about it a little more. You start the battle off with four stacks of Star Fragment on yourself. After casting a skill on the ally, you grant them power of life, which before the battle, recover HP equal to 30% of your magic attack. This is really good for PvP because you actually want to you actually want to manage your turn order. That's the best way I can put it. Because you don't want to heal right away as in PvP, your last unit that you want to perform an action is going to be your healer. I'll talk about PvP and turn control in another video, but yeah, you want your healer to go last. So with that in mind, uh, Power of Life is super good. It's a super clutch skill. I, I can't recommend a better skill if I try. Anyway, with Star Fragment, you actually increase your magic attack, which I, if you looked at the video, about healers magic attack does help them heal better so let's go to skills real quick yeah this is pretty good this is pretty good stuff and the fact that after an enemy dies you gain four stacks that this, this is really made for pvp but she functions well and PvE content, but PvP is where I think she stands out the most. So, Power of Therapy, you restore a target and you remove a debuff from them. This is a standard heal skill. It, it has no cooldown, but it does cost two points on your skill on your skill slot, so keep that in mind. And you have Healing Ore. Healing, healing Ore is pretty good. Um... Cooldown is one turn. This is the same skill that Lohannes has. Uh, you you heal all your allies 
within the air a two by two square range and you remove one debuff from them so when you combine these two skills they're pretty much for pve content <laughs> if you want to run her in that warm touch is where stuff gets interesting your cost is only one when not at full hp after you use the skill on an ally recover your own hp by a certain percentage this is definitely for pvp this is so good oh man Imagine this scenario, you're two men down and you can't heal your, your, your Valette because she's damaged. The skill gets past that. You heal somebody else and then you heal yourself. Pretty good stuff. That's why I think Priest Rune is super important on her. And you can use the Clock Rune if you like, but overall, I think, I think uh, the Priest Rune is the best. Undying Fire restores the target's HP by times one magic attack and deal damage equal to four magic attack to enemies within two tiles of the target. This is super clutch. This actually allows her to heal and attack. We've actually seen this before in Landgressor with Licorice. She heals you and that same healing is done as damage with the attack. So Undying Fire is super clutch. I mean, yeah, she's a really good, great healer. Quick healing is another great skill. At the end of an action, recovers HP of all allies within two tiles by 0.5 of your magic attack. This is another PvP-based skill. It's actually good in PvE. This allows you to do what Plathlayer does to a smaller extent. Um, not as good, but the fact that she actually has a passive healing effect that allows you to regain HP at the beginning of an attacking turn it's super fire um it's super fire uh yeah divine fire grant inspired mortal immortal blessing and divine fire for three turns after after using the active attack deal damage equal to 0.5 magic attack to target and all enemies with the two tiles if the target survives yeah, this is pretty good. Divine Fire is a really great build. She's a really great PvP healer. This is stupid. Warm Heart. Recover HP of all allies by 0.75. Move two debuffs from this is that's that's important. Also do damage equal to enemies in range. That is super clutch. This this chick, Warm Heart, this this is insane. Recover okay, HP of all allies by 0.75. Magic attack grant them fire heart and toughness. Fire heart recover own HP by 0.6 magic attack after being attacked by after attack and deal fixed damage equal to five. Oh yeah, this is probably her ultimate. Yeah, this is yeah. Okay, so basically you recover HP for all your allies. And they recover their own HP after being attacked. That is super important. I think this is so great for tanks. That's why I'm trying to get her. I, I don't want to spend money until we go to global, but man, she she's gonna make she, this. I, I won't say that she's a must-have, but she really makes a lot of content easier. Because if you recover your own HP by certain amount of certain percentage after being attacked, that is so clutch for a tank. It, it is so clutch for a tank. And the cooldown is three turns, and that's perfectly fine. If it was four turns, it'd still be good to me. Um, and you reduce your physical damage take by twenty percent. This is this is like Gabriel's like Clefair. It's Clef. It's Clefair. Then it's her for Gabriel for being one. Of, and I think on some level she's better than Clefair in some situations. I hate to say that, but if you play the game at the level that I play, you'll understand that. Fireheart is super clutch because when a tank gets hit and they're not able to recover their HP, it gets hard for them to sustain long battles. And Fireheart gets past that. So I'm going to have to say that on some level, um, we're looking at Clefair having some serious competition. Some people will say uh, Clefair is better. In some aspects, she is. But in some aspects, she's not. Because if you can sustain your tank for long periods of time, you're going places. You're clearing content that you shouldn't clear. So, 
I hate to say it, but yeah. I hate to say it. And Ashes of Salvation, her unique weapon, increases the healing done by Power of Life by 3%. That is super good. Allies with Power of Life will move one debuff from self before battle. Super good. It's it's gotta be hard to yeah, it's hard to justify. Clefair is still like the best healer in the game, but not by much. And in PV, not by much. Not by much. Not by much. I hate to say that, but not by much. We're looking at one of the best healers in the game right now. So yeah. Anyways, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great day. Leaders.